Hi, it's Jessie from Peach Manifesto, and welcome to another Madam Glam haul. First off, I wanted to start with the sand gels that they sent me, and this is Agate, and these are very new. They just launched recently, and they added it into my Wondering New York collection that I got, which is Cat Eye Gels, uh, because shipping is a little crazy right now so they wanted to make sure i got it all in time and these are really really pretty um there is like this little bit of sparkle that runs through it it totally reminds me of like stone um and like really nice countertops actually but i could see a lot of ways to use them and they both do have that kind of fine little glitter running through them and this is terrazzo and i just did two coats just so you can get some nice like depth and dimension with all those little flecks that are in there and i just think that they turned out really really pretty and here they are all top coated i did just like a thicker top coat than normal but it was just one coat so it was no problem covering up the texture at all let's get into the wondering new york which is their cat eye collection and uh these are really really pretty i decided to kind of play around with this one first um just to kind of see like different texture finishes i could get with the cat eye and you can obviously do like the traditional cat eye and you can kind of just like move the glitter around you can almost get like that kind of aurora borealis look you can do like a faded glitter look depending on where you put the magnet i wish i had my other magnet my super strong one but i think my kids stole it um so i'm using this one for now and it works really fine especially for like more traditional um, cat eye where you get that straight line across which i do love i did go in with a second coat um, just to give it a little bit more coverage and to kind of um, make the cat eye just a little bit more prominent i did want to see if i could get kind of a cool look with it going the opposite way and it was okay but like i said this one was just me kind of just playing around a little bit so you're probably like bored of seeing this color, but trust me, I get onto other ones right away and I'm gonna show you some really, really cool tutorials. And um, this one is really pretty. It's like a burgundy type of a red and I think it's very Christmassy. And this really does, for whatever reason, this color really makes me think of the Home Alone movie, which all these colors are based on i don't know if you have noticed the colors they have some really great names and um yeah i just really love this color and i do two coats on all of them and i am going to show you the swatches with just the pearl no cat eye as well i like to swatch all my cat eyes like that just because there's just so many different ways you can use a cat eye you don't necessarily have to use the magnet but you can and that's really cool so this one is a buzz um it didn't have the sticker on the bottom so i didn't show it but this is a stunning like christmasy green and obviously really really nice as a pearl but super super fantastic as a cat eye as well as I was swatching these colors, I was really thinking about some fun ideas to do for like nail art that you could incorporate the cat eye or not incorporate the cat eye. Um, so I really hope you enjoy the designs that I do at the end of this. Um, they're very simple. Um, one's a little bit more quicker than the other, but um, I sort of fell in love with the green and the red and this super navy blue um the first color was wet bandit and i do love that one too but these three colors in particular just really made me think of some fun christmas designs to do so i will be using kevin buzz and home alone in the tutorial and um this is the last color swatch this one is home alone and i cannot wait to show you these swatches look how stunning they are as just like a sparkly pearl and as a cat eye just there's just so much you can do with these and i know for a fact that the kind of pearl ones just look so stunning as a matte they always look like velvet to me. So I thought I would do something super traditional, like some holly. And I just got my design on there with just the first pearl. And then I 
am going to go over um, the whole berries with the second coat and then just get the magnet on there in kind of different directions so they look a little bit more 3D. And then I go over half of the leaf on on both the leaves um, with the cat eye just to give it a little bit of dimension. It shows up a little bit better in person. I was having trouble capturing it on camera, but it is there. Um, I think it looks really pretty and I think it was like just a really simple, cute design. And then I went over the design with top coat to give a little bit more of a 3D look. Um, in some flashes, you can kind of see where I have the light, the leaf separated and that the the holly berries are have that nice little cat eye to them. Unfortunately, I didn't flash cure the one berry fast enough. It kind of bled into the other one, but I love the just design. I think it turned out really, really cute. Um, here you can see where the berries bled into each other a little bit, but I love it. I think it's like a super, super cute design. Um, I'm glad I went with it. And then the next one, I really wanted to use the Home Alone color. And so I just went with the first coat as the pearl. And then I only wanted the cat eye at the very top of the nail. And I tried to keep the bottom part of the nail just like a little bit shimmery, like kind of sparkly snow. And I just wanted to do just a tree. And this is honestly best if you're just like super messy and sketchy with this. Um, we're just going for like a vibe of a snowy tree we're not trying to be like perfect or anything uh once i get it the way i like i just dump a bunch of white glitter on here and double cure it and i'm using madame glam's gel paint as well as their detail brush with this and i love the way the design turned out thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe and we will see you all later Bye bye